In this video, I'm just going to demonstrate how to create a clipping mask in Gravit. Now, this isn't something you do quite often, depending on if, what you were using Gravit for. Because again, Gravit's often used for more of a vector production rather than photo production, while clipping masks are really only for photos. Um, a clipping mask is basically a really fancy crop. So if you want to, say, crop an image to a shape, you can use a clipping mask to do that. Um, so if I have this image of Charlie here and my dog imported, um, I could go ahead and I could just click this crop button to simply you know, crop it to some type of square if I wanted to. Or I could create a clipping mask. And with the clipping mask, let's say I could use a shape. So I can go ahead and drag this oval around Charlie. And it's important that it's not filled. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this fill. I can add a border so I can see what I'm doing. So I have this black oval here around his face. And if I select both the image and the oval, I could then go to the Modify tab, and I could say Mask with Shape. And it'll go ahead and it'll crop um, Charlie's picture here into that oval if I wanted. I could delete the border if I didn't want the border after I did that if I wanted to. So it's just kind of this oval. I could also create my own custom shape. So for example, let me just back up a little bit and delete this. And with the Pen tool, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of trace around Charlie's face here a bit and just do my own custom mask with a shape that I draw and I'm just kind of going around on his ears if I make a mistake I can just hit command or control Z click on the anchor to reset And let's see here. Working my way around. So again, you wouldn't necessarily do this. You can't um, use a, a, an image for many CNC production tactics. So this is more for if you were going to go print this out or do this for some type of custom logo design or something like that. Um, the only CNC production you could really do with a clipping mask, if you were going to laser engrave an image, that would work. And I'm not going to do his full body. I'm just doing his face here. Um, so you could go ahead and create a custom clipping mask to then be laser engraved. Um, that is the one CNC production. So here's my custom shape. I'm going to turn the fill off. And I'm going to select both the image and my shape here, and then again go modify and mask with shape. And now I have a clipping mask of just uh, Charlie's face here. And if I delete the outline, it should look pretty good. So we have Charlie's face here like so.